Okay, this is our today patient, and we go to start and explain every step of this direct composite veneer procedure. Okay, uh, it's important use a check retractor for isolation and maintain dry the the working area. I go to start with the central incisor, this central incisor, for take a reference in size. After this, I go to do the another incisor, and after the two incisor, I go to do the cuspids, and after the cuspid, the two laterals, okay? The first step, is do a prophylaxis. Now we wash and dry the acid. We need to wash very, very well to remove any remind of acid. Stop. Now we dry very well. We need to see this pattern of the, the mineralization in the enamel. And after this, we spread very well the bonding agent. Okay, I use this bonding 3ms single bond two spread very well in all the surface very very well We need to dry very well the acid. And we need photo curing with a good lamp. This is a velo lamp and we photo curing for 20 seconds. Okay. Now I go to do a first layer of composite for do the incisor almond with this composite Herculoid presses. Okay? And I go to do an incisor almond. I want to do a incisor almond of two millimeters because she have few incisor exposure arrest we need to to do that he show more his incisors We need photo curing every increment of composite. Now I go to put a very, very thin layer of the same composite 
to cover the old color and change the color, okay? This layer, this first very thin layer add, add as opaque layer, okay? We go to do this. You can spread the composite with your finger first. This layer should be very, very, very thin. For the composite need to use very, very sharp composite instruments. remove excess, especially from, far from the gun, okay? And you can use now the Optra Sculpt instrument or do this. Are many techniques for do composite veneers, but I do my technique, my own technique, more simple, simplificated technique with good results. With this layer, I have a new color, but not the shape. I go do the shape with a second layer of composite. I go to photo curing now. Now I go to do a second layer of composite with this composite from this area. I like use to use two layers because the results are more natural okay it's for this reason it's important try to do the second layer in just in one increment of composite to avoid junction lines okay I put a ball of composite and with this layer I need to do a good anatomy, a good shape and I shape that look good. I like to start to work from cervical to incisor. Give the anatomy from cervical to incisor. It's important, don't let excess of composite near to the goon to prevent the, the develop of gingivitis or periodontal problems.
remove excess of composite Now we are finishing. It's important to leave a little, a little of excess. Okay? Because we need to reshape with the D in the finishing, in the finishing of the composite. Okay, I go to photo curing. We're going to do a little adjust in the form. We did this. This is a shuffle super snap black course view. And we remove excess of composite and try to do a good shape with anatomy, rounded edge. Now we have a reference. This is a reference for the size of the another tool okay for this for me it's important first to do a reference tool we go to do now the another central Now we have the central at the cusp, and in this way I have two reference to do a good laterals, okay? Not so big in a good size, okay? I go to do the two laterals at the same time. I go to do first the acid etching process. I go to do the two at the same time. Okay, we go to do now the lateral. We follow all time the same stratification process. First, an opaque white denting for block the all color. And in this way, we can do veneers without previous whitening. This is an advantage of the composite veneers. I like to start the building from cervical to incisal. Remember that the lateral should be a little shorter than the central. The central should be dominant, more longer, more bigger, because in this way we have a smile arc when smiling. 
remember too that we have a little embrasure between the teeth. This gives you this give you a natural look. It's very important. Remove the excess of, com of composite from the gingiva. Is very important. And remember that the that the laterals are a little behind from the central and from the cuspid, okay? Are a little behind, a little distal. Okay, now we finish the six anteriors. Look the chain in color. Okay, and now we go to do the posteriors, the top, top in every side, two in every side on the top. Okay, we go to start with etching. I go to do two sides at the same time. She have previous instruction from for orthodontics purpose. For this reason, I go to do until the fear smaller. I like to do 10 at the top because it look better for me in this way. First layer in the in the molar now. Okay, we finish the build up of the composites, but now we need to start the process of finishing and polishing. And I like go to start to checking the separation between the two is very important because we need to warranty that the patient can use the flush okay if you have problem in any side you can build a saw in this metallic band with a boost this is the first step in finishing. In second place with this shuffle super snap disc. 
I go to do a correction of the anatomy, remotion of the excess of composite. in all the surfaces. Damon Boro at high speed. We're very careful. We go to refine the cervical area to avoid gingival problems. Now we go to start the next step in finishing and polishing. We need to use this finishing strip. This is a, a finishing strip, Epitex from GC America. You can use this ultra fine or the white that is fine. And it's important pass this strip in all interdental surface for a perfect finish. It's very important this step in all the surface. In this way, you prevent stains in the interproximal area and prevent problems in flushing. Now we go to start with the polishing process. I, I do the polishing with these F diacon wheels. Uh, are two colors, pink and white. I start with pink and after the pink we finish with the white. It's important use in a clunter clock Counterclockwise rotation is if you use clockwise rotation, you damage, damage the disc. You can use with water and without water. I prefer to start with water. We pass this disc, this wheel for all the surface. This is a pre-polishing -pol pre wheel. You need to use the tool. It's important to use the tool. Clear the pin and lather the, the white. Now I go to do the second Everdiacom wheel. This is the final wheel for a beautiful polishing. I go to start with water. It is a special contra-angle with water. But if your contra-angle don't have water, you can put water in another way. This is the retraction core that start to get out. Now I go to close the water and start to use without the water. And you can start to see the mirror polishing. This is the result 
or do the veneer with this the, con the, with this technique. There are many ways to do this, but this is the way that I teach you. If you follow the steps, you can have results like this, okay? Okay, we finish. So, on bottom veneer, looks very good and it's very important fabric applied for a sleeve in this way we prevent that uh, she can brook any veneer it have some bruises